What's up, everybody? This is your boy AJ Tripp, and welcome to That's the Chief. This is my weekly show where I talk about what's going on in the world of professional wrestling. And this week, we got a lot. Tonight, today starts a whole lot of professional wrestling going on with Stan, uh, uh, with Stan Deliver and WrestleMania and everything like that, the Hall of Fames, and everything is going on within the next week. We got a lot. We got, we got a lot of wrestling to consume over the next 14, 15 days. But this episode, we're just going to talk about next Wednesday and next Thursday. NXT Stand, stand and Deliver happens. Wednesday is night one. Two, the Thursday is night two. And we have ten matches between those two nights. And these are the predictions for each one of those matches. Let's go ahead and start with NXT TakeOver Standard Deliver Night 1. So like I said, let's start with Night 1. We'll start off with Pete Dunne versus Kushida. Now Pete Dunne a couple weeks ago talked about he called out an open challenge. Saying he was the best technical wrestler in the world. Nobody answered that challenge. However, in a backstage segment, Kushida said that he was the best technical wrestler in the world as well. And then, then this past Wednesday, during the Gauntlet match, they got involved. Involved so much enough that Regal and Regal decided, okay, you want to fight? You'll fight at TakeOver, Stand and Deliver. This should be an awesome match. I think this could be one of the um, the, the matches of the week uh, when it comes to wrestling. And uh, I think everybody's going to know what this, how good both guys are. However, I think you have to go with Pete Dunne in this one. Pete Dunne it, um, really could be, he, if, if things go the way I think I go, Pete Dunne could be another great uh, challenger to the uh, NXT uh, TakeOver Championship. So. Um, or just the NXT Championship, not the NXT TakeOver Championship. Although, that would be interesting to find from them to have one. Who is the NXT TakeOver Championship? That being said, um, the winner will be Pete Dunne. Walter, the United Kingdom champion of NXT, picks on Tommaso Ciampa. This has been built up by some some, in, some some going back and forth between Tommaso's tag team tag team partner Timothy Thatcher, who has the OTV, excuse me, the last couple of weeks, uh, maybe due to some COVID issues and. Um, there's a this, and then maybe also due to just the Western storyline ways. Who never knows? But Tommaso Ciampa will take on Walter in the NXT Championship. I think this is going to be one of those hard hitting battles. I think this could be one of those matches where this will be uh, enjoyed by many and, 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 and maybe feared by even more. But I think this will be really good. I'm going to go Walter um, retaining his United Kingdom Championship. I don't think. I don't think. Tommaso Ciampa's going to be Walter. I think uh, somebody will be Walter, and I don't, I'm not sure who, but uh, I don't think it will be uh, Tommaso Ciampa. So, the winner will be Walter. So, the Gauntlet, Gauntlet Eliminator match. Uh, we have Leon Ruff, Swerve Scott, Bronson Reed, Cameron Grimes, Dexter Loomis, and L.A. Knight. Uh, this is going to be where two people will start, and then uh, every and then once you win the match, um, another person will come down and yada yada yada. Uh, this is a regular gauntlet match. Um, LA Knight comes in last um, because he won the entire match this past Wednesday. Um, so yeah, I, I think that's a, a, a bit. And I think uh, I think they could really do LA Knight. I think LA Knight is perfect for it as the North American Championship. Um, I, I, I really see this as the continuation of uh, Gagano and Theory versus Dexter Loomis. So I, I am picking Dexter Loomis to win the Gauntlet Eliminator match and to go on to face Johnny Gagano for the North American Championship in Night 2. For the vacant NXT Tag Team uh, Championship, uh, MSK takes on the Grizzled Young Veterans versus Legado Del Fantasma. Uh, as we all know, Danny Burch hurt his shoulder. 
Uh, and uh, he, he, you know, it's very funny how these things go. John Silver on AEW separated his shoulder, but he's only no surgery needed. He's only out for three to four weeks. Um, back in the ring, soon. Uh, however, Danny Burch separated his shoulder, and he needed surgery, and he's out for six months. So, uh, Lurkin and uh, Lurkin and, and Burch not the tag team champs anymore. They were stripped of the titles. These three are now in the tag team championship match, and uh, I think it should be a really good one. I'm going to take a, most people. Most people say MSK, but I kind of think maybe you would want MSK to chase the Grizzled Young Veterans. So I'm going to say the Grizzled Young Veterans get the win, and they become the new NXT tag team champions. And the main event of NXT takeover stand and deliver night one. Io Shirai takes on Raquel Gonzalez in the, for the NXT Women's Championship. To me, this has been building for so long with Raquel Gonzalez. The way she was, the way she, the way, I think it started when her and Rhea Ripley had that match. I think it was in, on the Halloween Havoc show. They had a, a, a fantastic match, which Rhea Ripley won. But I think it proved that Raquel Gonzalez was a star. A uh, star in the making. And uh, she's been, they've, been, they've Put her over like that, everything like that. She won war games. She she she's been she's always been the person that gets gets the, gets the victory in the tag team matches. She um she she beat Rhea Ripley in the in the last one standing match, which caused Rhea Ripley uh, to be sent to Monday Night Raw. And I think ever since that match with with Rhea Ripley uh uh at, at Halloween Havoc, this has been what they've been building for. Io Shirai, check this out. They made Io Shirai the type of champion that just keeps winning and winning and winning. And I think they're going to go ahead and they're going to do this. They're going to put the strap on Raquel Gonzalez as they should. And they're going to have her be like the, the, the dominant NXT Women's Champion because she is. She is six feet uh, tall and a hundred and I don't know, maybe 160, 170 pounds of of of, of just badass, and it, it, it and it and it comes off like it, and it shows, and the work in the ring is really good. So, uh, to me, this is no, you know, Io Shirai has had a lengthy reign. She's the, uh, no, she's not the longest women's champion because that's probably the, that's probably Oscar, but Io Shirai is definitely a close. Uh, she, she's a, probably definitely a close second, uh, second or third to Shayna Baszler, who, 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 who may have had a longer reign than her. But to me, this is it. Um, Raquel Gonzalez here, and she gets the the uh, NXT Women's Championship. So, um, and she deserves it. She's a great job. And uh, Io Shirai, I think, has probably done enough on NXT, and I would probably assume that she gets. She gets a call up to one of them to, to one of the uh, shows, Raw or SmackDown, um, um, after Mania, I would think. So, yeah. For night two, now night one would be on live on the USA Network, so everybody would get a chance to see that. Uh, everybody who has cable and the USA Network or some type of way of getting there. Uh, but night two will be on Peacock and. Uh, that's going to be very interesting. We'll see if Peacock has fixed any issues or done anything different and see how it goes. I, I, I did not watch Fastlane on Peacock. I watched Fastlane on the network. That was the last, uh, apparently that was the last show that you could watch on the network. Um, but we will, uh, uh, we will see. Uh, I'll, I'll ch check it out. So night two, Thursday, send and deliver on Peacock. Let's start with the tag team Champions of women, Ember Moon and Shachi Blackheart versus The Way, featuring Kennedy Shell and Indy Hardwell. Listen, I, I I don't get Ember Moon and I don't get Shachi Blackheart. I really don't. I don't. I don't get them. It, it, it's I. You know, Ember Moon called up to the main roster. She couldn't get it done, so she goes back to NXT. And you know, a lot of people are, are like really, like really into her and anything like that. And, and she really, she has a, she has kind of, she has, she's a cool finisher move. You know, the the eclipse, it's a cool finisher move. Um, but 
you know, I, I, I don't I, I just don't see it. I never I'm with you, I think I'm I think I've never saw her, saw it in her. I just I just never have saw it in her. And same thing with Shashi Blackheart. I, I don't see it in her or anything like that as well. Um I think these are two women who are you know, when it comes down to it, they, they they may be where they should be, and that's you know, you know your your mid card women, you know, in the middle of the card, you know. I don't know if they're gonna open it up at night too, but uh, these are the first ones that you saw. So uh, and Candace and, and Indy Howard, you know, I, I, and I said this well, you know, with the fact that that uh, you know. They kept teasing the fact that the Wolfgang Gardner's were going to have championships. Um, was was intrig you know, uh, intriguing. I thought it, I thought it would happen, um, but it, it hasn't. And I think it's actually might be the other way around. I think where you might have um, Candice get a title and then Johnny loses his. That may happen, but I, that's what not what I'm going to pick. I'm going to go ahead. You, you, I'm going to say. Moon and, and Blackheart pick up the victory over the way. For the undisputed NXT Cruiserweight Championship, Jordan Devlin takes on Santos Escobar. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, need a little backup. Um, when when lockdown hit, um, Jordan Devlin was over in over in the United Kingdom, um, and he was the NXT. He had just won the NXT Championship here in America. And then he went over to uh, the United Kingdom to do some stuff, and and obviously with the lockdown, you know, when the coronavirus happened and everything like that, he got locked down over there. So they needed to have a interim championship. They had it all that whole thing, the whole thing. Remember, uh, Drake Maverick got fired by while being in the, the tournament and everything like that. So all of it was, uh, you know, all of it, all of it was was kind of crazy. Santos Escobar, he won that Cruiserweight Championship, and he's been the champion ever ever since then. Um, but Jordan Devlin has been defending it over in NXT UK. Finally, the, the the rules relaxed just enough that Jordan Devlin was able to come over, and now he and Santos Escobar will fight to combine the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. And this past Wednesday, um, or I don't know if it was just I said it was just this past Wednesday a couple of weeks ago, Shawn Michaels got on the uh, you, know, you know put up and gave him the idea of a ladder match. I don't. I haven't heard anything about it being a ladder match, really, or anything like that. But if it is, that's that's even great. Um, who comes out on top? I think, no matter what it is, whether it's a ladder match or whether it's or just a normal regular old match, I think Jordan Devlin is going to come out and be the undisputed NXT Cruiserweight Champion. Johnny Gargano defends NXT Cruiserweight NXT North American Championship. Excuse me. Against the uh, winner of the um, Gauntlet Elimination match from Night One, I had that as Dexter Loomis. So it will be so in my world it will be Johnny Gargano versus Dexter Loomis. Um, and I'm going to pick that Dexter Loomis wins. Now here is how we here is how we go. Here's how we go with this. If Dexter Loomis does not win the thing in Night One, then obviously. Uh, I, you know, night two will not be the same, right? So, um, I will pick uh, night two, and I will let you guys know because I'm, I'm going to be doing a reaction, a rapid reaction to night one and night two separately. So, at the rapid reaction of night one, if Destiny Lumos does not win, I will give you another pick, uh, pick another way. Johnny Gagano and whoever it is, and then I will let you know for night two. Um, but I, right now I have Dexter Loomis winning night one, and I have Dexter Loomis also winning the North American Championship on night two. So my pick will be Dexter Loomis. Then on a sanctioned match, Adam Cole takes on Kyle O'Reilly. The Undisputed Era, not only did they have been destroyed, but lives have been changed. Kyle O'Reilly said he sold his soul so that him and, and, and Bobby Fish and and, 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 and Roderick Strong could could not only be a family, but you know, be the, the most dominant force in wrestling. 
And Adam Cole has just decided to just say, this is all what I wanted. I just wanted to be a champion. All I wanted to be was champion. And that's all that should have been. And the fact that you couldn't, you couldn't get it done with Kyle O'Reilly losing to Finn Balor twice to make sure that you were not ready for the big time. And now we have set up Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, an unsanctioned match. I do not expect Adam Cole to be saying, hey, Britt Baker, Baker, you can get, you know, you know, you, you can get some color and watch me. I don't think he's he's going to do that. Then I don't think Vince, Vince or Triple H is going to let him do that. But the first, <laughs> the first full event on, on Peacock, on, P, on Peacock on. I don't think that's going to happen, but I do think there's going to be some crazy shit uh, happen. And uh, I, I don't, I don't think this is going to be like, you know, this. I don't think gonna, this is going to be garbage wrestling. But I think this is going to be wrestling with an attitude, so to speak, uh, and that's good. I mean, you, you would think Kyle O'Reilly has to win, right? You'd think Kyle O'Reilly has to win. Because he's the one that, you know, he's the one that's been doing so much of lately. you think he would be the one who has to win. But I could totally see him doing Adam Cole as well. Adam Cole win and just have him go keep the momentum and, you know, you know, let him ride that momentum elsewhere, you know. But to me, I, I think I think I think you gotta go with Kyle O'Reilly. I think you got to. Uh, I I think I think I think he has to be the one to beat Adam Cole. And uh, and, and 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 you know, if this was a regular match, I could see them where Adam Cole would get the victory, and then maybe they would they could come back later later on and have a rematch, and then have have the same match. But this is their first match. Their first match is the unsanctioned match. So I, it's you know, I, I think Kyle O'Reilly has to win, and the main event of night two, the NXT champion Finn Balor taking on Karrion Cross with the lovely star. I, I I I I think what they're gonna do here, and I think Finn Balor mentioned this. He mentioned this in a in a uh, in a interview that you know Karrion Cross losing the title as soon as he got it. It, it was unfortunate, and Finn Balor has done enough. I think Finn Balor was just I think Finn Balor was holding it just until Kane Cross could come back. And here we are now, the I guess you could say the takeover, the, the, the Mania takeover, and the main event of Night Two with Finn Balor and Kane Cross. And I, th- I, I I don't think there's no doubt about it. I think Kane Cross does what he does, and he takes out Finn Balor, and he becomes the the uh, the the NXT champion and uh, two second two time NXT champion and his reign will be something to watch on, on NXT. So again, let's go through this night one. Here are my predictions: for Pete Dunne, Walter, Dexter Loomis, these are young veterans, and Raquel Gonzalez. In night two, our winners are Ember Moon and Sassy Blackheart. Jordan Devlin, Dexter Loomis again, Kyle O'Reilly, and Karrion Cross. Uh, and once again, a reminder that uh, if Dexter Loomis does not win the uh, Gauntlet Eliminator match, then I'll do my rapid reaction. I will let you know who I think, who I, who I will give you another prediction between the winner of Gunny Gagano and whoever wins the Gauntlet Eliminator from that. Um, I will give you that on the rubber reaction after the NXT takeover send and deliver night one. Uh, and for the and for the extra credit, I guess you could say the other question. Once again, I'm going to ask: Will anybody debut during stand in NXT takeover stand and deliver night one or two? And I'm going to say yes this time. <laughs> I'm going to say yes because that's when I said no, and we had. Uh, Eli Drake appear as LA Knight, so I'm going to say yes. Taya Valkyrie or somebody else will make a make their debut uh, at NXT Takeover Stand and Deliver Night One or Night Two. Or we'll see that Parker Parker guy that they signed. Somebody will make their debut in some form or fashion. So yeah, I'm answer is yes. All right.
Alright, y'all, put your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about them needs to take over. Stand and deliver night one or night two. Give me your predictions, give me your thoughts on who's going to win, and your thoughts on who you can see debut. Just let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section. Let me know. Okay, make sure you click the notification bell so that when I go live, Wednesday, of the night, uh, NXT take on night one, Thursday, NXT take on night two, Saturday, WrestleMania night one, and Sunday, WrestleMania night two. This is going live after each of those for the rapid reaction, and there's even a possibility, a small possibility, that I will be live reacting to the Raw after Mania. As well, so you so you know, so if I do do that, you're not gonna want to miss it. So click the notification bell so that you can get notified when I go live each and every time. And you don't want you're not gonna want to miss the video as well. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Trip signing off. Make sure you like and share, and you share the video, and you subscribe to the channel. As always. Be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.